Hello, my friends. Welcome back. So, uh, sorry about last night. I forgot to post the pictures of the wind chimes. Sucks getting old. <laughs> Can't remember nothing. Uh, I was going to show you the coasters. I put some silver around that top edge here. I probably couldn't have done that. I mean, shouldn't have done that because the holographic glare looked really pretty. Uh, but I thought, you know, I wanted to kind of do it anyway. So I just took my silver pen. I actually got this from Dollar Tree. I was really impressed. It actually works very, very well. So those are our coasters. They turned out really cute. So I need a good keychain. And I play guitar. And I want to make a UV resin guitar keychain. This one looks the most like my guitar. Um, I think I have, I think my electric guitar looks the most like this one. But I might make a couple of them. My guitar is actually black on the outside edge. It's an acoustic electric, an Ibanez Talman. It's an acoustic electric and it's black and it fades into blue. So what I'm going to do, because black is really hard to cure with uh, UV resin, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a thin layer of clear down here. I'm going to cure it. I'm going to take a black Sharpie and I'm just going to do a thin black outline around it. And then I'm going to pour some translucent blue. Uh, so my UV will still cure for it. i got to grab my mirror. got to grab my mirror here so we can use the UV lamp. I'm also going to make a couple... Uh, guitar picks as well. So we've got our little UV light here. I'm going to use my new J Diction resin. I want to see the difference in it and the other resin I was using. I got a three pack on Amazon and I think it was $20 for a three pack of it. So I was excited for that. I've heard this is really good resin. I've heard also that uh the other one, J Diction and was it Let's Resin? I don't remember. Anyway, one of the others I've heard is really, really good, also. So, like I said, we're just gonna take our lid off of here. I am in my art room, guys. I have the door open. I do not have the fan on right now because it is kind of it's loud. So, I don't really want to. Put the fan on and make it where you can't, guys can't hear me. So, I'm going to do, I'm going to do three guitars. Like I said, I'm just going to put a thin coat of clear down here. And I'm going to do a couple of my guitar picks here. Okay. Let's get my glasses on so I can see what I'm doing. Like I said, we're just doing a thin cut of clear. I'm going to cure it. I'm going to cure the thin cut of clear. And then I'm going to come back in, like I said, with just a thin line black Sharpie and do my little black outline. I'm hoping maybe if I sandwich it in between already cured resin and then cure the other resin, I'll be all right. I'm going to do this one. I've heard so many good things about this resin. I'm excited for it. I am excited for it. Alright. We got that one. Let's bring this one up here. So we got to get them up in this little... Up here where the little tip is. Because these are keychains. 
guess you can make a necklace out of it if you want. But I'm gonna make a keychain. I need a keychain. I need a new keychain anyway. All right. We're gonna move these over here. I'm gonna put you guys on a pause. I'm gonna cure these for about probably. Well, I need two more in here. Hang on. This one's not full. There we go. I want to be sure I have enough resin in here. Yep, this one's... There we go. Move these over here, like so. I'm gonna move this one. Oh, we'll do these in a minute. I'll do them separately because I don't wanna. I wanna have enough room for this. All right, I'm gonna put you guys on a pause right quick. I'll be back as soon as it's cured. Okay, guys, we're back. Sorry about that. Shaking you around here. Y'all dizzy? Oh. You dizzy? Dizzy yet? Alright. So these are cured. They actually cured really well. I'm surprised how fast that cured. Because the other resin I had... Don't get me wrong. It wasn't a bad resin. But it took several dills to cure it. Several. And I mean, we're talking... There were times something really thin. It took... Five ten minutes cured, and then I still had to send it out in the sun the next day because it still wasn't fully cured. So I'm 100% impressed by this. So my guitar, I'm gonna say, is closer to probably a sapphire blue. So we're gonna put some resin in here. I'm gonna do a couple of these in the sapphire. Like I said, I'm not gonna do a lot of pigment in it because it makes it where the Resin doesn't cure good. I'm do two little drops and that's it. And this is a translucent pigment. So it's not like really pigmented. I mean it would take a lot to make it where it was opaque. See if you see here. It's still not even really as dark as my guitar. But I think when I pour it in a small area. It's going to look a little darker. And it's going to be close enough. I mean, it's not going to be exactly like my guitar. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> and the only one I'm going to do the black on, I think, is this one. That's my guitar. Alright, we're just going to go right around the edge here. Kind of go up the neck just a little. I said my guitar kind of fades into blue in the center so we're going to do blue we're going to do blue here micro brush here in a minute and we'll push this up where it needs to be. Actually it does kind of look like my guitar. <laughs> That's funny. 
Uh, let's see, what other one do we want to do? I think I want to do this one here. Same way. I think we might do like a blue translucent guitar pick here. Wipe that out here. Get it a little bit better. All right. Now, I think I think I'm gonna do just a tiny bit of glitter in this guitar pick. So that's that's done. We're gonna swirl that around. Pretty cool. All right. Now think what I want to do with this one is I think I'm going to drop a little bit of clear resin in here and I think I'm just going to drop a couple drops of pigment color of the color in and just kind of swirl it lightly my thoughts on that kind of I don't know we'll see yeah I think we're going to do that okay so we're going to, we're going to add some more clear on top of here Might do the same thing with this too. Got the second guitar pick here. All right. A little micro brush here, so we have something to swirl with. Here we are. All right. So let's take take a drop of purple here. Drop a purple. And I want peach red. So I'm a red. Try the peach red, see what we can get with it. Wow. These bottles are so freaking hard to squeeze. I'm like, it's crazy how hard they are. It's two handed, and it's, sometimes it takes everything you got just to squeeze it. And that's with two hands. Alright. Bring it up here. Have a little tip. That's pretty. I like the swirly. Gonna go back on the pause guys i'm gonna bring this over here to this and my guitar is gonna need another top coat probably they all are honestly but we'll 
We'll cure these real quick, and we'll be back in just a minute, guys. Okay, we're back. So, I broke out the glitter glue pen <laughs> from Dollar Tree, the blue, and I put it in mine. I think I'm going to put a little bit in this other one here. Now, actually, it's pretty full. I don't think I'm going to do anything to it. I was going to say I was going to do some to this one, but it's pretty full. So, now I'm going to top these off with resin. This one here needs it. This one needs topped off. This is mine. It needs topped off also. The both guitar picks look like they could use some more. My little micro brush here, and we're going to spread this around. All right, that one's in. This one needs to come up in it. Alright, that one's good. Mine's good. This is full. Overflowed. I put too much on it. Okay, somebody tell me just take a paper towel and put it on it. We're gonna try that. Try a piece of paper towel on here. Somebody said take paper towel to get your extra picked up. Okay, that didn't work. <laughs> well, it did, kind of, but not like I planned. It didn't work like I planned it. Uh, let's see here. better all right one last cure guys we'll pull them out we're gonna put the keychains on and we'll see how everything looks so one more pause and i'll be right back okay guys pretty sure they're all cured here i cured them front and back this resin's curing so much better than this other resin so don't ever really bait tell you there's not a difference in resins because there is a thousand percent of difference in resins that other resin, like I said, when I used it, and I pulled everything out, oh, this is gorgeous. It's not tacky, it's not sticky. It's perfect. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? Look how nice that turned out. Cured like glass. Look at that. That's gorgeous, guys. Wow. I love that. All right, let's try this second one here. I'm not taking mine out to last. Mine's coming out at the end. Got a little piece over here that overflowed. 
Oh my goodness. Look at this one. Cute little pink guitar. Pink and purple guitar. Just this excess overflow just peaks right off. Very nice. Cured well. It's not sticky or tacky. Very pretty. And now my guitar. And at the last minute, like I said, I threw some glitter in. So, hey. Again, not sticky, not tacky. Wow. I am so impressed with this resin. And it smells a little bit, but it didn't, honestly, it didn't smell any worse than the one I was using before. And it cures so much better. So much better. Wow. This one I feel like could use just a little bit on the back here. And I might dome it. Uh, just before I put it on the keychain here. We'll take out our... Look at the guitar picks, guys. Oh my gosh. Again, got a little overspill on it. I'll use my deburring tool. This one, I'm sure, has a bunch. No, actually, that's funny, because that was the one that overfilled. That one do, does need just a little bit more curing. So I'm going to flip that over. That one's actually pretty good, but I'll do it anyway. We'll just flip them all over here. That one doesn't need it. Neither neither one of these need it. We're just going to do these. I'm going to give this, give my mine a dome. On the back. Alright, let me spread this out right quick here. Let me spread this out right quick. Right up near the edge. I'm just going to push that up the neck just a little bit here. All right. One more cure time here, guys. I've got my keychain here. I think I'm going to put two of these on my keychain. I think. I don't know. I might just do one. I'm not sure. I might do two of them. I kind of like two of them on here. Maybe the two blue ones. I think I'll do the two blue ones on my keychain. Oh, that's curing right quick. I'm going to grab my jump ring. There we go. That was quick, huh? <laughs> Alright, I'm going to do one more shot here. Let's grab a couple jump rings out. The other one might as well put the other one on too on a different key ring actually i'm gonna save it because i'm gonna put something else on here with it i might make a necklace out of this one i might make a necklace out of that one all right where's my split in my jump ring there it is. Open this up. Wow, that's actually pretty deep. Wow. Okay, so I'm going to need two jump rings on here. Probably going to need that on mine, too. That's alright. We'll put a bigger one right here. And then I'll do a couple of smaller ones to actually attach it to the keychain. 
All right. Oh yeah, much better. Much better. Very nice. Very nice, guys. Wow. All right. That's nice. Let me get my deburring tool here. Where we at? Where we at? I just saw it. Just had it. <laughs> Don't you hate that, guys? When you just have something right in front of you. You're like, I just literally five minutes ago had this. What did I do with it? What did I do with it? I just used it on my coasters a little bit ago. I just used it on my coasters. Wow. <laughs> I think I lost my mind. I think I lost my mind, guys. Oh, here it is. Slid underneath my level table. I was like, where did it go? That didn't take much at all. Well, you guys can't see what I'm doing here, huh? Very nice. There we go. Much better. Pretty cute there, I have to say. Pretty darn cute. Alright, so what I'm going to use, because I already know now, this hole's bigger. On here, we're going to use a bigger one. what I did. I sealed my hole shut. I sealed my hole shut. Alright, let's go to where we know the hole is. This drill bit is not the greatest. That drill bit's horrible. I gotta get a different drill bit, guys. Gotta get a different drill bit, guys. Sucks. So bad. There we go. Get a better drill bit here. I don't know why that drill bit's so horrible. Huh. Alright, let's put this one in. This one's any better. There we go. Much better. Much, much better. All right. this in here like so. Come on, get over here. All right. So now I've got both of them on there. I 
got my, I had a resin disaster. I had an item that I sat down that wasn't completely cured. And I sat it somewhere and it spilled all over my, all over so much stuff. And I've tried cleaning it off and I'll tell you what, try to get uncured resin off of something. It is next to impossible to do. I was like, wow, how come this is so hard? And I mean, I've tried alcohol, i tried everything, and it's just horrible. So I'm thinking about it, I'm just going to relocate those to a different case, because, <laughs> yeah, it's just like crazy. Alright, I'm going to wipe this off, because I got it all over my fingers, all over everything I was touching, all over everything I've been touching here. Okay. Fingers are still sticky from it. I should have had my gloves on. I know, guys. This little bitty UV resin stuff is so hard to work with your gloves. Alright. Perfect. Much better. No more sticky fingers. <laughs> sticky fingers, huh? Oh, I found stuff. Way too funny, huh? Alright. So we're going to open up our little jumper in here. We're going to hook on this one, and this one, and we're going to hook it onto my key ring here. And we're going to close it up. And if you use jump rings that open up easy one of the things you can do to help them out is either put a spot of super glue on them or literally you could just take a little dot of UV resin I mean a spot of UV resin cure that and it's not gonna come apart so that's what I'm gonna do with this because like I said this is mine I'm just going to put a little bitty dot of UV resin in here. Literally a micro dot. I'm going to take my micro brush. And I'm going to stick it in the resin. And I'm going to put it right on the jump ring where, they're, where it's joined together. This is where this flashlight's going to come in handy. Being able to use it. Okay, so I've got it on there. Yeah, I stuck my elbow on that sticky thing. Come on, there we go. And that's it, guys. So basically, you're gonna you just want to make sure you cure it really well, and that will keep your jump rings from opening back up. Very cute, very cute. Love it, love it, love it, love it, love it, guys. And in just a second, we're going to put a jump ring on the other guitar, and I'm going to grab one of my pretty pink or purple necklace stills, and we'll put that on it. And Okay, that's good. That is perfectly good. There's my keychain, guys. My two guitars on it. Very cute. Look at them. So cute, guys. All right, so that's that. I'm going to grab a gold one, I think, for the purple here. And I'm going to use a big one because, again, this is bigger than, wider than I thought they were going to be. I guess you could make them as thin as you wanted if you wanted them thinner. Again, we're going to do the dot of UV resin. I still have a little spot right here. I'm going to do it right here on this jump ring. Where it joins together. And we're going to cure that for just a second here. For a minute. And then I'm going to grab the cords and we'll be done. Hope you guys like this video. If you do, please give it a thumbs up. 
subscribe if you haven't. Uh, my analytics, YouTube analytics, say about 60% of you guys aren't subscribed. I don't know if you know, it's free to subscribe, guys. It doesn't cost a thing. You're not going to get spammed. You're not going to get junk emails. Nothing, nothing like that. All it does is helps out the people that you watch on YouTube. Um, my goal, I'm trying to reach a thousand right now. I am at almost 500. When I reach a thousand, I was going to do a giveaway of like an item, but I thought, you know, it's hard to pick what people like. Some people like stuff, some people don't. I don't want to, I don't want to be tied down to that, limit, limited to that. So what I want to do is when I hit a thousand subscribers, I'm going to do a hundred dollar Amazon gift card. I'm going to grab my necklace lanyard right quick here, guys. Um, I figure most Amazon's pretty much everywhere. So, I figured perfect thing to do would be an Amazon gift card because then I can just buy it. I can send the code to the person that won. Bing, bang, boom, done. Alright, so should I do purple or pink? I'm kind of thinking purple. Yeah, I'm kind of thinking purple. Now I have me a new necklace, too. I have a guitar necklace. I also have a neighbor down the street that plays guitar. So I think I'm going to make him the guitar case. And uh, maybe a couple guitar picks to go in it. The only thing is, when I do that, I want to do it with regular resin because UV resin. You can't put the pigments in, and I want to put mica powders in it. Use some of my new chameleon powders, maybe glow in the dark, stuff like that. How neat are these guys? Love them, love them, love them, love them. So, let me move all this stuff out of the way here. Now I'm going to bring you guys in for a close-up. Let you check it out up close and personal. Because I know sometimes it's hard to see stuff so far away. And I figure on this paper here, this black paper might show it off a little better. Alright, so here's... A little purpley one. Very pretty, right? Let me turn on my flash, see if that helps. Yeah, a little bit, yeah. My glitter. Sparkly. This one's the one with just... I swirled the different colors of pigment through. Ah. And then my keychain here. With my two guitars on it. Super cute, guys. Love this new mold. I am, after tonight, I work tonight again, 10 to 6. Uh, after, probably after tomorrow. We'll have some little bigger projects and videos. I'm going to do, I'm going to do the chest set. And I think I'm going to do the lotus mold. I don't know which one's going to be next. Comment in the description which one you think I ought to do. I mean, comment in, on this video and let me know. Uh, the more comments I get, that way I know. I'm either going to try the chest set or the lotus bowl. So you guys tell me which one you want to see first. Alright. Bye for now. I hope everyone has a wonderful evening. Stay safe. Stay blessed. We are bonded in resin, guys.